Well, welcome back. We are talking now with Rodney Baim. He is here with the College of Engineering, and you have an amazing program, Aggies Invent, that takes the amazing creativity that these kids have up here and lets everybody else see what's going on. You know, Barbara, when I graduated from here in 1978 with electrical engineering degrees, I never dreamed that I was going to get to come back and have a dream job here. What we've been able to do is these students are so much smarter than I was when I was here. So we're harnessing that creativity in a 48-hour intensive design experience that we call Aggies Invent. It is we're bringing freshmen through PhD candidates together, giving them real live challenges to solve, and they're coming up with some of the most amazing solutions that are turning into patents, they're turning into commercial ideas, and we're helping them start create startups. That is such, I mean, that's just so fascinating. Is it only open to engineering students or is this a campus wide? I gotta tell you a secret. Um, engineers left on our own will create somebody, something that nobody else needs. All right, so <laughs> no, we want to bring in liberal arts, we wanna bring in business students, we wanna bring in medical students, we wanna bring in every type of student that we can because that's where true innovation happens. When you have the technical skills and the different kinds of skills, that's why we also like to have freshmen through PhD candidates mm -hmm. because those different experiences, the different perspectives and the different skills really are what are at the center of creativity and innovation. I can't even imagine what that would be like for a freshman, brand new to the campus, getting to work with a PhD student and gaining from their experience. And I would imagine that it would kind of propel that freshman even a little bit further. It actually is transformational. What we've seen is the excitement that's generated in one of these weekends is what we call the spark. Mm -hmm. That gets them going, it gets the enthusiasm, it gets things happening. And during that spark phase, they're able to get and transform themselves and remind themselves why I wanted to be an engineer in the very first place, because we're able to create. They also realize that they can create. We lead them through four phases. We call it the dance, the design, the doing, and the deal. The dance is where they form teams. So they're, we don't know each other, but yet we're gonna work on the same problem. Mm -hmm. Then the design, then they build it. And we help them build it. We have a 20,000 square foot rapid prototyping lab where we bring experts in and we help them build it. And then finally they have to sell it. So they right. have to be able to have a 10 minute presentation. This is a competition. We give the teams a competition, $1,000 for the first place team. And in that selling, they have to produce a 90 second video because that 90 second video gets them to describe their problem in as succinct a pro process as they possibly can. It's, it's one of those things that I am not a creative person that way. Things don't, I, I don't imagine things that way. And so I would imagine though that if someone is, you've gotta be able to take it from here and make something with it. And then like you and I were talking earlier, if you can't explain it, who's going to want it? Exactly. You may have the best idea in the entire world and the best ideas in the entire world are generated right here at Texas A&M University and sometimes people have a challenge in getting that best idea communicated. If you can't tell me about it, make me care about it and help me understand what it is, then it's not a great idea. So we spend a lot of our time working with our communication skills and the softer skills for our engineering and non-engineering students because that is so critical for their success. So what are some of the types of projects that you have seen? A uh, couple of them that I'll highlight very quickly. Uh, one of them, Texas Children's Hospital gave us a challenge of detecting dehydration in infants. Well, why? De uh, dehydration in infants is the second leading cause of infant death mm -hmm. worldwide. So the two students, there's four students, five students on the team, two medical students, two biomedical engineers, and a freshman petroleum engineering student in a weekend realized that they could incorporate a saliva detection into a pacifier and it would light a red or a green light depending on the dehydration level of an infant. Oh wow. They've gone on to patent this to the university, they've gone on to win several other competitions and they're continuing to commercialize it. This is a team called Dehydratech. That is phenomenal because as, as young parents with these babies, you can't tell. That's right, you don't know. A baby can't tell you when they're thirsty. That's a second amazing. one, very briefly, let me tell you about. It came out of the College of Education. We work with different colleges here, and a team took uh, mathematical concepts. They wanted to help students understand mathematical concepts, and they developed a game, a puzzle, 
It's a tile game where you put different kinds of tiles according to the mathematical relationship between them, mm -hmm. and it now teaches computational thinking and mathematical concepts. They have patented it, and we're wow. working to help them commercialize that as well. That is terrific. Absolutely fascinating. So tell me, when is the next Aggies Invent? How can they get involved? We have <clears throat> three Aggies Invents per semester. Okay. So the next one's September. It's called Bring Your Own Idea. The next one is in October. It's called, uh, we're going to be working with uh, Special Operations Command. The next one is with, in November, where we're working with AR, VR, in other words, Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality with Dell. And then the one in February I'm really excited about, it is called Invent for the Planet. We're going to be doing this event simultaneously around the world. The sun will never set on innovation. We're starting in Australia and Cambodia and, and Vietnam, working through all the way through Europe and then in the United States. And for the next 48 hour period of time, the entire world will be focused on innovation. Oh wow. Our, and we'll start it here at Texas A&M University. That is phenomenal. The website is? Aggiesinvent.com. You make it so simple, I appreciate that. Thank you for coming, this sounds absolutely fascinating. It's a blast. It sounds like it, all right, thank you, and we'll be back.